Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. I'm coming at you live from Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles right here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Got my evil assistant here, Hal Jordan. Say hi. Hi. Okay, he said hi. Let's move on. All right, let's get started with the new comic books of the week. We got issue number 38 of The Amazing Spider-Man. What's up? How you doing? We have got Atlantis Attacks, issue number one of five. This is promising to be really good. And if you've been reading Arrow and... Uh, um, Swordmaster, Arrow and Swordmaster, all that stuff is going to end up right here. We've got, uh, oh, also Agents of Atlas. Uh, issue number 87 of James the IV, I mean Batman, I, <laughs> Freudian slip. Let's do uh, <laughs> Curse of the Batman, Curse of the White Knight, issue number 6. Let's go with Captain Marvel, issue number 14. This is just hot, hot, keeps getting hotter. Find out Kelly Thompson's getting more awesome books coming to her, and she deserves them, and so do we. Issue number 1019 of Detective Comics. It's a very bat week. We've got Far Sector, talking about Green Lantern. We got Far Sector, issue number three. This should be three. Yep, it's number three. The only good thing I like from uh, Young Animal. Issue number one of Al Ewing on Guardians of the Galaxy. What's up? We have got two Dawn of X books. Yep, be going live tonight, midnight, Eastern Standard Time. We've got uh, Excalibur, issue number six, and we've got Marauders, issue number six. All right, how about Valiant Week? We've got Roku, issue number four of four. This is gonna finish that up. And issue number two of The Visitor, a very new look on The Visitor. Let's go with, we're finishing things up this week too. Ruins of Ravencroft, Dracula. I know it says issue one, but it's actually part three of three. So yeah, there was Carnage and Sabretooth before this, and now Dracula with Captain America on there. I'm kind of hoping for some barren blood, we'll see. How about issue number 10 of Shazam, the book that is just completely back on track. Nobody gets to argue about it being um, delayed anymore. Okay, here's a fairly big one. They're promising a big one. Um, no high expectations though. Issue number 750 of Wonder Woman. It's a thick one. We got a $9.99 US cover price. Eek. And let's go into some True Believer stuff. We've got the criminally insane <laughs> Dracula from uh, $1 from Marvel. True Believers. Another True Believer, the second, the only other one, is uh, first appearance of the criminally insane um, Purple Man in one of the early issues of Daredevil. And Dollar Comics also count for, uh, for DC. Batman Huntress. I don't know if this is her first appearance or if this is when she actually starts going great. Cry for blood. Yeah, I should have looked better, but it's Greg Rucka, Rick Bur uh, Burchett. So yeah, anyway, badang. So that's in existence right now. Guys, let's get talking about a sweep right now, eh? And for the toys, we got the movie Big, Zoltar. What's your fortune? Is it to grow up really big? Human Torch, a whole bunch of Fantastic Four guys, Mole Man, Silver Surfer, digging it. We've got a whole box of Pikachus. 
because we know what's important in life. We got over here, Dragon Ball Z guys. This guy dies all the time, but you know you want him. He's crucial. This guy over here, that's right. Bob Ross, baby, Joy Payton. We're gonna get some, uh, what are those those things are called? Napalm yellow, some, some Asian orange, some <laughs> Fire Marshal Bill red. Anyway, I <laughs> just broke into living color. And then we got all of these guys. That's right, we got a couple boxes of the whole run. So it's not just EB Games that you're getting these guys from. You're getting the whole set. I think we got four boxes in. So yeah, there's a bunch, but of course we're not sinking to these things. So first come, first serve. Holds, you better be real good friends with Carlos. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, we got four boxes of these. So consider checking them out. And that's toys. Oh wait, no, it's not toys because we got all these guys also. <laughs> we got a lot more. And this we got, oh, I love when we get these things in. Guys, these things are super cheap and they look awesome. A whole diorama set. They combine with a bunch of other sets and they just look gorgeous. We got John Wick, can never get enough of the Wick Man. And we got Batman. Raphael Grandpa. And then what's this over here? We got an X-Man cable. Oh, cable himself. Shoot. Okay, not too bad looking, my peeps. Not too bad looking. All right, we're going to call that a wrap. Okay, so we're going to open up and do an unboxing. I've already kind of started it and did this. And uh, who, who do we got over here? Special guest, Carlos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vanna White's going out of business in a heartbeat. Damn Vanna White. You know what's funny? Half the audience isn't going to get that reference. No. Anyway. <laughs> Pat Jack's daughter took the place. Oh, did she? Nice. A little while. Okay, it's Wheel of Fortune. You know that thing that your grandma watches? Yeah, that. You spin the wheel <laughs> to win a fortune. All right, so what do we got here? We got a nice base. That These is are limited nice. out of 5,000. This one's been particular at 397 or 5,000. You got Always made ones. in China. Is there still <laughs> terrace against China? Okay. There's always terrace All against right. China right now. Ugh. This is a one piece statue, beautiful. This is based on what? Uh, yeah, Raphael actually, Grandpa artwork. Yes. Yeah, this is actually, I love when they're just the one piece. Because, you know, it's so much easier. Okay, that is just gorgeous. Check that out. Yeah, you, you can't get this kind of detail in the box. My God, look at that. Dude needs to, see, Alfred's dead now, so there's nobody mm -hmm. to iron the uh, bat cape. I'm assuming it's one foot on the page. That's interesting. They're going to keep the one foot off. I like when they do that. I mean, it can get old. It can get overexposed, but that's cool. DC statues are notorious where the pins don't fit properly. Really? There we go. As simple as that. Do I have this backwards? As easy as that. This is solid. What's the weight? What's it feel like? Uh, Not a lot, right? I have it backwards. Oh, do you now? Yeah, that would make more sense, I guess. Fit better before. Anyways, you get the Jeff. There we go. I did. Okay, perfect, perfect. Check that out. Yeah, that actually makes a lot more sense as like That's this. That's a good head. Maybe about ten, eight to ten pounds. Nice. Oh, and you did in pounds too for the uh, greater audience. <laughs> Twelve stones. <laughs> Okay. England is very mad at you right now. That's not even a tenth of a stone. But anyway, okay, awesome. I love it. All right, thank you, Carlos. And we're back here at Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles right here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Write down that address because guess what's happening this Saturday? We have got a huge eighth anniversary deal. Dude, Carlos goes big. He don't go small. So you can have a whole bunch of people. I, I, it's pointless even mentioning all the people here. It'll take longer than the video in and of itself. Go and check out all of the media that I put up here. All those links, all that stuff. Go and check that out because there's a bunch of people who are going to be showing up. Artists, writers, a whole bunch of people doing signatures, a bunch of people doing commissions. A whole lot of good stuff. Dude, go and check that out. We've also got a whole bunch of other stuff coming up. Go and check out the media. Check those out, favorite them, save them, like them, bookmark them, whatever it involves, because there's a lot, there's a whole lot coming up, uh, especially this coming Saturday. Guys, that's gonna be it for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.